Hi and welcome to my video on making a transparent background. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well maybe you only want about 50 words in your picture. Uh, here I have a uh, web page that I've made. It only has a picture on it and I'm showing you this for the simple fact that uh, most pictures you get have this background. Well maybe you just want the uh, rose on there. So if you want the rose on there, uh, this is how you go ahead and do it. Now I'm using uh, paint.net which is a free program and uh, you can get it for free. You don't have to spend what you would for a small used car in order to get your image software. So anyway, uh, we'll skip past that and I'll go ahead and open the file that is my rose. Now it started out as rose jpeg and I changed it to rose png real quick like I'll show you how to do that. Uh, you just open a JPEG file and then uh, you click Save As and then you change your options down here to PNG and you save it and it says I have one. Do I want to replace it? Yes I do uh, for the sake of getting this done. Okay now this is pretty simple because most of the background is almost completely white. Now you can set your tolerance here and you can go all the way to 100% and all the way down to zero. Now if you set your tolerance to zero, you would use your magic wand key and you would press that and zero tolerance will allow a whole lot of uh, stuff in there. Now, as you set your tolerance up higher and higher, uh, it won't do it in real time, but what we'll do is we'll deselect that and we'll set the tolerance at say 65 and we'll click it again. And this will give you a little closer of a crop but as you can see I'm also cropping out a part of my uh, leaves here. So we'll deselect that again. We hit edit deselect and we'll go down to about 50. Yeah 50 is good. And we've got a magic tool on and we click that and we see that it's leaving the leaf in there and a couple of other spots. So what we do is now all we do is we hit delete and you'll see by the checkered background that it's cut away all of that. So now I'm going to go ahead and save the file, go back to my demo web page and refresh. And as you can see by refreshing this has taken most of the background away. Now we're going to get into a little bit more on this so I'll go back to uh, the rows here that I have and I'm going to switch to eraser and using the eraser tool uh, it's set for two I like to set it a bit higher I'm going to set it for about 10. Using the eraser tool you come in and you erase whatever you can see of the background. Now the, the thing about the eraser tool is unclick frequently because if you, uh, if you do something like this, uh, what you want to do is edit undo. But if you're holding the eraser tool and doing your entire image and you make a mistake uh, and you undo, you're undoing the entire image. So let's go ahead and we'll cut into this a little bit. And for the sake of this video, I'm not going to get this perfect. Also, as you can see, I uh, have an area here that I would like to get rid of that's not that stem. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that one out carefully. And uh, that gives you an idea here. So we'll go ahead and save that. And you can see the end result on the web page here where I've trimmed out this at the top, a little bit of the bottom, and this one edge right here. And you know, you just keep on playing back and forth until you get it right. Now I'm going to do a, a little more uh, comprehensive and a longer video on other uses with backgrounds that aren't the same color. Uh, if you've got a lot of things mixed in, let's say you got an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, whatever, uh, and you want to do specialized and it's got a lot of background colors that you need to deal with, uh, we'll deal with that in the next video. Thank you for watching. This is how you uh, making a transparent background.